do decide to buy a house, you can be sure that there'll be a lot of form filling and paperwork involved. However, don't be put off. It's not as bad as it looks. In this application form, the Building Society have tried to make it as clear as possible what is required. For example, they've put in short notes along the right-hand side, explaining what the different headings mean. The form is also laid out in different sections. This section deals with your personal details, your name, address, phone number, where you're working, your income and so on. There's also space for two sets of personal details to be filled in for a first and second applicant. This means that if there are two people buying the house together, a husband and wife, friend or partner, then you need to fill in the details for both people. As we've said before, most forms ask for the same basic information, but sometimes they ask for it in a different way. For instance, this form asks you to fill in your title. This simply means whether you're Mr, Mrs or Ms. The form also asks for your marital status. This means whether you're married, single, separated or divorced. And your dependents usually mean the number of children under the age of 18. Another document you'll also need if you're applying for a loan is your P60. Your P60 is a form which you get from your employer at the end of the tax year. It's an important document which has details of your income for the year, the tax you have paid and your social welfare contributions. The form will also show your PPS number. PPS is short for Personal Public Service Number. It used to be known as your RSI number. There's a form filling exercise on pages 84 and 85 of the workbook which you might like to try later on.